Hey guys, it's uh, Jesse here. Uh, it's been a good while since I made a video, and uh, I wanted to make a video on this uh, Hitachi nail gun. I needed a nail gun for some home renovations that I'm doing, and I did a good amount of research on on nail guns, and um, this one had, first off, the highest number of, of reviews. Uh, it had one of the highest ratings, and uh, and it seemed to be one of the most popular. So I wanted to point out a few things about the nail gun, um, a few things that I like, and a few things that I don't. Um, one thing I don't like about the nail gun, <laughs> this is really petty, but it uh, it looks like an alien. <laughs> it looks. It reminds me of an alien's head. <laughs> I don't know why it couldn't look a, a little more conventional. But it's really insignificant in the overall scheme of things. But I chose, when I was looking for a nail gun, I chose to go with a uh, full round head, uh, plastic, uh, collated uh, nail strips. You can fit less nails in the magazine, but um, in a lot of places, and here in Maryland where I'm at, as one of them, you have to use full round head nails. And... I wasn't sure at the time when I bought it whether I did or not, and so I didn't want to take a chance, uh, and I went ahead and bought it. There's a lot of debate about whether or not clipped head versus full round head, whether it makes a difference. Is it is one stronger than the other? I don't know. I tend uh, to believe that it seems to me that a full round head nail would have less of a chance of pulling through a board, but how often does that happen? I mean, really. So I don't think that it really makes much of a difference. I think people kind of probably just jumped on the bandwagon like governments most usually do, and um, they sign legislation and require everybody to uh, abide by it and buy new nail guns and, and, and so forth. But, you know, I guess that's kind of kind of subjective to how you feel anyway the um this nail gun has a selector here where you can go between a uh, single nail wherein you would depress the plunger on the front pull the trigger and fire a nail the next time you shoot a nail you have to let the trigger go push the plunger uh, and pull the trigger and fire a nail if you turn this Actually, it's on sequential now, but if you flipped it up, it would be on, on single. I call it single shot because that's what we call it in Marine Corps. That, we'll call that the kill switch. And you put that on full auto. Wherein, you hold the trigger, and every time you plunge, you fire a nail. Good for roofing, flooring, um, or if you're just really good with the nail gun and you're doing studs or whatever it might be. I tend to use a single shot, uh, it seems a little safer. I've had a couple of uh, double fires, um, you know, but I'm also not that experienced with it. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Uh, the price, the price of this thing was uh, 199 uh, regularly. Um, I got a little bit of a discount when I bought it. It came out around $170, $180. Uh, uh, the others, like a Bostitch, was what I was comparing it to. Um, that one was like 240 or around 240 for a comparable model. So I went ahead and went with this one, obviously. A few things I don't like. I don't like the fact that you can't direct the airflow. All the airflow comes out the front of the gun. And as I discovered, when you're inside like a studded wall, uh, if it already has sheathing on it, you blow all the dust that might be in the bottom of the studded wall back up into your face. And there's nothing you can do about it. I also didn't like the fact that it didn't have a rafter uh, hook, which is why I made this rafter hook. I just brought it around, I bent it, heated it up, bent it in a vise, and I brought it around and I welded it to the bracket that holds the magazine. Ain't the best well job in the world but let me tell you man it makes a heck of a difference i was actually 
setting a two by 12 floor joist into a ceiling and I was standing on this six foot ladder and I needed to, I laid the nail gun on the floor and I walked up this ladder just like this and this isn't it but I was up here and I set the I set the floor joist up into the ceiling and then I realized god dang it the nail guns on the floor and I had worked pretty hard to get that floor joist in so I let the floor joist down I rested it as best I could I had to come down I had to get the nail gun I had to bring it up here and lay it on top of the ladder balance it on top of the ladder and then finagle the floor joist up into the into the floor again set it up and then I could finally nail it so I welded this what they call a rafter hook and now I don't have to go up and down the ladder anymore it'll hang some guns come with this the Hitachi did not it took me maybe an hour or so to fabricate and weld that on I still got to pull it off and prime it but uh that's it. It's comfortable. It's light. I think it's 7.9 pounds if I remember correctly, which is about average for the nail guns. Um, I think that's really about it. The, uh, it's a good gun. It's a really good gun. Some of you guys who watch my videos, uh, it, it probably watch a lot of videos on boots, and you'll probably notice that uh, I'm not wearing Danners, which I made a good amount of videos on. I'm wearing Keens, and there's a pretty significant reason for that, but I will cover that in a future video. I've had a couple of people reach out to me and ask me how I'm doing or comment, and really I've kind of been out of it. I've been so busy working on my, my house, and I, I, I mean it, I've been pretty busy, but I uh, also got a baby coming um, in a couple of months here, so it's more of a desperate situation, and I got... You know, I've been I've been cleaning up the shed here, and anyhow, it's excuses, I guess, but uh, at least it's some sort of an explanation. But anyway, I plan to make a few more videos here, kind of update update you on what I'm doing to the house, and uh, give you a few more tool reviews. But uh, thanks for watching.